Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option the 2019 Kia Forte EX. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. The Kia Forte sedan has been fully redesigned for 2019. Introduced back in the 2010 model year, the Kia Forte was originally aimed at young buyers seeking a stylish and affordable compact car. The redesigned 2019 Kia Forte continues that mission, but it's no longer just an alternative to the establishment. This Forte is a desirable car in its own right, thanks to a sharp design, engaging performance, and plenty of technology and safety features for the money. The 2019 Kia Forte is available in four trim levels, FE, LXS, S, and EX. All are powered by a 2-liter 4-cylinder engine that makes 147 horsepower and 132 pound-feet of torque. A 6-speed manual transmission comes with the FE, while a continuously variable automatic transmission is standard issue on all other trim levels. All right, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2019 Kia Forte, and it's looking kind of sporty. It's looking kind of nice. Uh, I We've got quite a bit of information to go through here. I'm really excited to go through this particular car. I'm kind of I'm, I'm finding that I'm falling in love with these little compact cars, these little under 30, right around 35,000, under 35,000 dollar cars, because the, the market's hot with these things, and there's a they're throwing a lot at you for the money. They're giving you a lot of car for the money in a lot of cases. So I'm really excited to talk about this car. So let's discover more smiles per gallon. Let's get into this says the Forte offers incredible available innovations. Available meaning optional. Keep that in mind. For collision avoidance assistance, right? The smart trunk, wireless phone charging, lane departure warning, Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, smart cruise control, rear park distance warning. Why am I not reading all that? Because we're going to go over the features in detail. And so I don't want to sound redundant, but we're just looking at some highlights right now. Here they're showing the Kia Forte's MSRP and how it's cheaper than everybody else's, and we're we're only or we're basically cheaper than everybody else's. But here's the deal: I'm I'm not concerned with the base MSRP. Which one of those four gives you the most for your money at that MSRP? Then we're going to be talking about something. I could care not for that little price difference, right? Yeah, they might be the cheapest, but you know whatever. That doesn't mean it's the best. Right? I don't go on just price point. They're showing here that they have a better uh, warranty program than everybody else by a lot, too. I mean, by a lot. Double. I mean, double the mileage. I mean, double the years and almost double the mileage, really. Five year. I'm sorry, 10 year, 100,000 mile. Everybody else is five years, 60 on their, I guess, their basic. And I don't know if they're skewing it some way, but from this perspective, it looks like Kia's really got them covered on that one. All right, let's check out that gallery. I kind of showed some of the uh, some of the slides of the gallery slides in the beginning of the intro. Uh, I, again, I'm not going to read necessarily all that information because we're going to check out the features after we go through this gallery. So some of the stuff that they might be telling us, not in this particular slide, uh, is going to be redundant. So we're going to go through and really just kind of check out the design and the aesthetics because actually... It's an attractive car. The 2019 Kia Forte is an attractive car, and they say it is inspired by the Kia Stinger. Now, if you're not sure what the Kia Stinger is, I did a build-in price review of the 2018 Kia Stinger. So I'll put a link up for you, and you can check that out. All right, moving on. We're just going to kind of go through these photos. The front end of this looks really aggressive. I like this. That looks really, really nice. Sport-focused details we're talking about. But again, we're going to get into all that, and we're just sort of checking it out on our own. We're talking about the LED running lights, 17-inch LED wheels. We're talking about some rear cross traffic over here, right? They're talking about their technology, right? They're talking about the quick reflexes of the car, its agility, its ABS brakes. What's this down here? Oh, that's the rest of the slider, so we can see all of the images and what's coming up next. Here they're talking about the utility, increased cargo space for 2019. That's cool. Standout LED headlights. They don't tell us if those are if, those, if that's standard equipment or not. Uh, Forte's available 17-inch wheels. Parallel parking with uh, re reverse warning indicators. Right there uses more than 50% advanced steel. Right, gotcha. All right, so we went through all the photos. Let us move on to the features now. 
All right, let's talk about the performance. That's what they want to tell us. The performance overview. Driven to impress. Expressive, stinger-inspired design, dynamic performance, and agile handling make the new 2019 Kia Forte a force to be reckoned with, I guess, among its peers. <laughs> with seamless acceleration, confident quartering, and better control, this is a driving experience as unique as you are. It's easy to own the fast lane with the polished performance of Forte. Wow, that is a quite a statement. It's quite a statement, but it's fun. It's a cool car. Let's see what else they have to say about the performance. Forte's enhanced rigidity improves handling and lateral responsiveness. Steering feel is upgraded too, thanks, thanks to the enhancements in the motor-driven power steering system. Okay, rework suspension and throttle increase precision and control, while a standard six-speed manual transmission ups engine responsiveness. Here, they're just kind of talking. They're not really saying anything, honestly. They're just kind of talking a little bit about their motor, saying that it's how they've done something that makes it have good combination of performance and efficiency. And then they talk a little bit about that variable in, uh, transmission and how it's improved on over standard CVTs, which they call continuously variable transmissions, which is basically the same thing. So they're not really saying much. I've already given you some, all the specs on what the engine is. It's, there's only one of them, and it, only, it doesn't make that much horsepower. It doesn't make that much torque. It's a standard fare motor. Here they're talking something about how the uh, the Kia has different modes. There's a sport mode. There's also a comfort mode that you can choose from. So if you go with the sport mode, you got the added steering and throttle responsiveness. And then if you go with the um, comfort mode, you've got smooth acceleration and a comfortable ride. And so, uh, yeah, they're not really saying a whole bunch on this page because really – when a, when a car doesn't make that much horsepower, there's not a whole bunch to talk about. But they're having fun with it. And at this price point, you get it, right? You get it at this price point. Okay, so we went through the performance. Now we're going to learn about the convenience. And that now we should be able to start to talk about some – get into some stuff uh, that's a little more up the Forte's uh, – uh, up its uh, alley. So it says, embrace the efficiency of the new 2019 Forte. It's available all-new intelligent variable transmission – Holds the motor its ideal RPMs longer. The resulting smooth acceleration means not only a more comfortable ride, but also an engine that can be more efficient in a number of conditions. With intelligent variable transmission, Forte FE, that's the base model, is rated at an EPA estimated 31 miles to the gallon in the city and 41 miles to the gallon on the highway. And you get it's a mixed economy, a mixed fuel economy of 35 miles to the gallon. I think that sounds impressive. That sounds very impressive to me. So, yeah, when we were over on the performance page, when you're trying to knock down those kinds of fuel numbers, there's only going to be so much performance to be had, and that's okay. See, what are they talking about here? A parking minder? Uh, lost car no more. UVO eServices e records your vehicle's location and can help you find it using your compatible smartphone. You can even see helpful parking meter reminders and share your vehicle's location with others. So this is cool. So up above that, it says innovation that's here to help. So convenience and control are at your command. Better than a personal assistant, Forte's available UVO e-services helps you keep track of your Forte's parking location, driving habits, and maintenance requirements. So what it sounds like to me is all car manufacturers have an app. And all their apps usually do a standard suite of things, you know, lock, unlock car doors. doesn't sound like this is that. But... They all do something with like maintenance minders, blah, 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 blah. It sounds like this is Kia's version of that. And then there's a couple, another tab here that says Trip Info. It says review your driving data all in one place. Trip Info conveniently tracks your monthly driving habits so you can review the deal. I'm sorry, the details. Easily review routes and make improvements for better efficiency. And then maintenance. Never miss a maintenance appointment again. Set your vehicle's uh, service intervals. Then conveniently schedule dealer visits right from your phone, right via that app, via the uh, UVO e-services. Now, I'm sure that's – well, I'm not sure, but it looks like that – I'm assuming this is not real leather, but it sure does look nice in there. It says roominess and, ex and extra happiness and extras happily coexist. Designed for maximum comfort and more, the new 2019 Forte's larger cabin size features increased length for more rear leg room and more cargo space. Plus, they say the overall height has increased. Rear passengers can enjoy additional headroom now. So desirable premium features like an available power sunroof, 
add a feelingness of openness, and lets you fill the cabin with fresh air. So they're trying to do a lot at this price point to make the vehicle not feel, well, cheap. So it says slide to try. What does that mean? Oh, slide to try. We can slide to try so we can see the front. And that looks very nice, doesn't it? It looks real nice. It looks up. It looks to me for the price point. It looks as upscale it can, as it can for an MSRP, a starting MSRP of under twenty thousand dollars, under nineteen five. I think it was right. It says versatility that comes easy because you never know when you'll need the extra flexibility with the available sixty forty split folding seats, which well seems like every vehicle has. The new twenty nineteen Kia Forte compact sedan gives you options when you have the longer cargo items. Plus, leaves room up for two rear seat passengers at the same time. So, yeah, if you if you put this side down, then you can put two people over here. That's why it's 60-40, right? This is the 40%. This is the 60% over here. So, it's cool. So, we have three more feature modules to look at. You can see there's design up there in the upper left. Next to that, there's comfort. And then down on the bottom left, there's safety. So, we're not going to look at that make it your stuff. Um but we got these three uh, modules to keep looking at. And then after that, we're going to jump into our build and price. So let's check out design and find out about the sleek lines of the Stinger inspired style. It says the exterior of the new 2019 Forte is heavily inspired by our award winning Kia Stinger from its sporty front fascia. That's right down here. Right. With available gloss black accents, which we can see right actually down here. You can see the available optional gloss black accents. And distinct tiger nose grill. That's what they call their front end right here, their grill. They call it the tiger nose grill. So it's available rear spoiler. I can't tell if that one has a rear spoiler or not. And 17 inch machine finish alloy wheels, which this one looks to have. The Forte's flowing contours and, and dynamic exterior styling look like poetry in motion, even when standing still. It is good looking. It is good looking. But they are really taking it to a whole new level with it, aren't they? Intuitive interior design puts everything right where you need it with a minimalist approach that focuses attention on, to, on detail instead of bells and whistles. The interior is really nice looking, isn't it? I mean, they've really just, it's really nice. I mean, look at the pedals down here. You got the sport pedals. I can see the little uh, rear blind spot assist right over here. I can see the little icon right in the mirror. Uh, it's got the nice little touch screen here. The shifter doesn't look cheap and flimsy. It looks nice. The steering wheel looks leather wrapped and nice. I see a push start, and you know you got your upgrade buttons right over here, just like uh, just like BMW puts their buttons over there when they have for the packages, like heads up displays and things like that. So it's pretty cool. It's a it's a very nice car, especially at this price point. Now I can't read what the speaker says, but is that an upgraded speaker? Does that say Harman Kardon? I can't tell. I'm sure we'll get a better look at some point. Oh, and then we can do the slide to try just like we could on the other one. So we can look at the other side of the vehicle. There you go. Slide to try. Illuminating LED lights. So it says modernistic, uh, modernist design lights the way with the 2019 Forte's distinct available LED lighting that's the, as bright as it is bold. So those are optional lights. They do look pretty cool. They're showing the front ones right now. These are the optional front LED headlights with the auto leveling. And they come equipped with LED daytime running lights, which, which the acronym is DRL. And high beam assist, which the acronym is HBA. Uh, on the back, out back, this is what the rear end looks like. Available rear LED taillights feature a unique lamp composition that delivers a striking impression to all who follow. Here's the special edition that's called the EX Launch Edition. This special edition package features an exclusive fire orange exterior, 17-inch uh, graphite finish alloy wheels, power sunroof, rear trunk lid spoiler and the unique led headlights so they make it pretty sporty all right we got through that module let's talk about comfort find your comfort zone whether you run hot or cold you and your front seat passenger can dial in the perfect temperature newly standard in the base model because the fe is the base model dual zone automatic temperature control allows both front seat uh, positions to choose independent settings for precise personal comfort right and an available rear vent for backseat passengers I mean they can enjoy the ride as well. So uh, the backseat passenger, uh, which vent do they, which uh, setting do they go off? Do they go off the driver's setting or do they go off the passenger setting? They don't say. The front seats have three available optional heat settings. 
that help warm the heart, among other things. <laughs> While those same seats offer two fan speeds to circulate air via perforations for cooling things down on hot days. So heated and ventilated front seats. Uh, I was talking about those seats, and look, they're talking about their Sofino leatherette. Enjoy the Lex Lux look of leather without the care or upkeep. Why don't you say without the price? <laughs> that was a nice way to say that, though. The 2019 Forte EXs, right, that's your, what is that, the top level model? Sofino's leatherette interior offers a sporty feel and comfort of leather with less long term wear for style that goes on for miles, right? That's really cool. Available in all black or your choice of two tone gray or red seat trim to match your own sense of style. That's pretty cool. It always amazes me that Kia, Hyundai, uh, Toyota, everybody, everybody at this price point can build these uh, really inexpensive cars and make them look really upscale. And then you have like Mercedes and BMW when they build their really cheap models. Boy, they really do look cheap. Why can't they take a page from these guys? I don't understand how that works. Oh, look at that. See, I was talking about those speaker grills and one of those gallery images. And look at that, Harman Kardon. Again, at this price point, they're throwing high-end stereo equipment at you. All right? You have to upgrade on a BMW to get a Harman Kardon. It doesn't come standard. Well, depending on what model you're getting anyway. But at its base model, usually you're never getting a Harman Kardon. So let's find out. It says you get the Harman Kardon premium audio. 320 watts. No, it's not hugely powerful. But I bet in this cabin it's already tuned for this car. Probably sounds amazing. Amazing. It's got eight speakers, integrated subwoofer. It's got the Clarify music restoration technology, which... Helps to restore digitally compressed music because it loses something. And so it helps to kind of restore that. I think that's great. And I really especially think it's great at this price point. Okay. We got through comfort. The last thing we need to talk about before we get to the building price is we just need to go through the safety. There's not that much stuff to go over. So let's find out what they want to tell us about their safety. It says enhance your driving safely. We can all use a little help now and then. And the 2019 Forte is engineered to provide exactly that, a little help. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Active safety systems automatically engage for enhanced control in harsh road conditions and in certain emergency situations to help deliver a safer drive. So here they got HAC, that's their acronym for Hill Start Assist. Control helps you keep Forte in place as you move off incline to mitigate roll, rollback, meaning from the time your foot moves from the brake to the gas pedal, the vehicle isn't moving backwards. So the hill start assist can hold the vehicle so that doesn't happen. Then ABS, anti-lock brakes. Now see, here's how you know that there's not really that many standard features when you're talking about ABS. ABS has been around since what, like 1988? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm sure ABS is better than it was back when it started out, but I mean, we're talking ABS here. But nonetheless, it's got ABS. <laughs> It's got ABS. It's like people, it's like when they start talking about their cup holders and glove boxes. You know, they don't have many features inside. All right. Now they're talking about their traction control system. Again, this is standard stuff that everybody pretty much has. But again, it's still cool. Traction control and electronic stability control, ABS, hill start assist. Hey, we're only talking about a $19,500 car here uh, at the end of the day for starting MSRP anyway. Uh, here they're talking about their passive safety systems. The airbags, so you got your seat belts, you've got your airbags, you've got six airbags and sensors, and you've got your child safety, you got the whole latch system so you can put your uh, your car seats and all that stuff in there. And so the Kia's got all of that standard stuff, which it has to have all these standard things. So they're showing you it, but it has to have it. I'm not knocking them, but it has to have these things. They're not, they're not showing us their above and beyond stuff. They're showing us the basic stuff that all vehicles on the road today need to have. So before we actually do the building price, here they're showing us the trim levels. There's, here are the four trim levels, right? The FE, LXS, S, and EX. I don't feel that we got a thorough un enough understanding of what it comes standard with each model. So I'm going to cover that real, real quick. Standard features on the FE, which is the one that's selected here, include 15-inch steel wheels, automatic headlights, dual zone autom automatic climate control, rear air vents, an 8-inch touchscreen, Bluetooth, Apple and Android, Apple CarPlay, and Android Auto, 
and a four-speaker audio system with USB and auxiliary audio jacks. The FE also comes with a rear-view camera, forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, and lane keep and assist. It starts at $17,790, and that is a lot of car for the money. Let's move on to the LXS. Moving up to the LXS adds 16-inch alloy wheels, selectable drive modes, a 60-40 split folding rear seat, and soft touch dash and door surfaces. The S trim continues the upgrades. Let's move on to that. All right. The upgrades with 17-inch alloy wheels, LED daytime running lights, fog lights, a rear seat armrest, a leather-wrapped steering wheel, a six-speaker audio system, satellite radio, and Kia's UVO communication services. Features included in the optional S Premium package are sunroof, LED headlights, and automatic high beam. The EX trim, which we're going to build in price here in just a moment, adds the final touches, touches with heated side mirrors, windshield wiper de-icer, push-button ignition, keyless entry, keyless trunk opener, simulated leather upholstery, a power-adjustable driver's seat, heated and ventilated front seats, a sliding armrest, and two extra USB ports. Additional driver aids on the EX include blind spot monitoring and rear cross-traffic alert and lane change assist. Now, remember that launch edition, that orange one they showed us? They don't show it here listed, but the launch edition, there's an EX launch edition, so maybe that's a package. Maybe we can add. I don't know. If we can add it, we'll add it. Now, oh, yeah, it is. The launch edition package adds a load of premium features, right? This includes unique 17-inch wheels, a sunroof, a rear deck lid spoiler, LED headlights, auto dimming rearview mirror, a larger gauge cluster display, navigation system, voice controls, wireless device charger. That's where the Harman Kardon lives. That's where you got you to get that package to get the Harman Kardon. Um, and this also includes, includes adaptive cruise control, pedestrian detection, uh, emergency uh, braking, rear parking sensors, and automatic high beams. I don't know how much additional that package is, and I don't know if we're going to be stuck with the orange, but just for fun, maybe we might just do the EX Launch Edition since it's a package. So, that said, we've kind of gone over all the configurations now, whether you were looking at the EX or the base model, now you know. So, let's do the building price now. Okay, step one. Let's choose our exterior colors for our 2019 Kia Forte EX. Now, that comes standard with the Safino Leatherette. Now, the color they're showing us right now is called Gravity Gray. This one's called Snow White Pearl, and it is a $295 option, and you could have this with the two-tone uh, Safino Red. Let's look at the interior. Ugh, that's a horrible picture, isn't it? Let's not look at the interior. Um, here's the current red, and that only comes with black leather. Here's that fire orange, and this is part of that launch edition, and it comes with black leather. And if you get a black one, it's all black. Um, it's black on black, and it's a 295 option. Now I know they're going to end up. We're going to end up doing that launch edition, and I bet you, I'm almost positive we have to do the fire orange. I'm going to go ahead and make a preemptive selection on the fire orange. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to do all black because I like to do one in all black. But we'll see if the fight, if the um, launch edition changes it. I'm almost positive it will. Okay, so here's the launch edition. Here's everything there that they throw on there. I just read over all that stuff. So they actually throw it a little bit more. They talk about more stuff. This package is not available for Aurora black. We know that, right? Watch, I'm going to go ahead and select it. And what's it going to tell me? Oh, it won't even let me select it. I guess I have to do the orange first. There we go. See, now we got the orange. Now we've got that selected. That's the one package that you can have. All right, let's move on to the options. I don't know what options there will be. Looks like more like accessories, not so much options, but these are accessories, guys. These are called accessories. I'll take the auto dimming mirror with compass and home link, though. I love that stuff. Uh, the home link is like garage door opener stuff. Cargo mat, nah. I'll take the cargo tray that's in the hard rubber. Um, carpet floor mats, I'll take floor mats. I will take uh, mud guards. I will take a remote start. How fun. I'll take wheel locks. Yep, I purposely, for people that the rear bumper applique, I always stop at this one. The rear bumper applique, you know, you're taking boxes and packages out of the trunk, and when you scrape it over the back of the car, uh, over your bumper, then that gets all scraped up. This rear bumper applique will help protect that paint right there. 
All right, so I selected everything I want. Let's go over to the summary. All right, so life started at this vehicle with 21990 That launch edition package, which gives us all the good stuff, is 3200 bucks. Why not? Whoa, this car is $27,000. Uh, you know, that may, might be why not. There's a lot of cars at this price point that are that's starting to get real sporty spice now at this price point. Cool car. I don't know if it's worth 27000 for all of that. But actually, maybe it is because, boy, they sure are giving you a lot. You got the Harman car. You got navigation. You got everything. I mean, they're really giving you a lot. Who cares about the engine performance? I mean, come on. I mean, who cares about that? It's a lot of car for the money. Can I print off the build summary? Sometimes lately I haven't been able to print off these build summaries. Let me see if I can print it off. Hang on one second. Yep, got it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I've downloaded the build summary. If you like the way that I've spec'd this 2019 Kia Forte, then you can download the build summary in the description below, right in the description. All right, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Thanks for joining me. If you've made it all the way to the end, you're super, super awesome. Please like, share, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Other than that, you have a wonderful, wonderful day.